Yeah, John, this is said to be the biggest drop, drop in over a month, and really this is all about deposits. In results, the bank posted yesterday, we saw 41% drop in deposits, down to $104 billion at the end of the first quarter. That was well short of analyst expectations and signifies a $72 billion drop in deposits quarter over quarter. That's even with a $30 billion deposit infusion from larger banks last month to try to stabilize the bank. Clearly, though, this bank is still struggling. Aside from the deposit picture, it had a 19% drop in net interest income. It's getting squeezed by higher funding costs, and so the bank is looking to make some changes. They are going to uh, cut 20 to 25% of their workforce in the current period, try to moderate loan volumes as well, reduce the size of the balance sheet. And they also said on a call in which they took no questions, mind you, in this earnings call, that they are exploring strategic options. Now, Bloomberg has previously reported they've considered a sale of the entire bank, but it's sizable unrealized losses have caused some buyers to balk at the prospects. So the future of this bank in many ways remains uncertain. In the meantime, though, the share is just getting put under more intense pressure. Already it was down 87% year to date through yesterday's close. Those losses, of course, building in a big way this morning. This was $121 stock at the start of this year. Currently in pre-market trading, we're south of $12, John. Back to 11. Kaylee, thank you. 11 on First Republic. I think City came out with a call early this morning to cut this stock to a sell with a price target of 11. We're there right now.